I've already um, shuffled and I'll use two oracle cards for your recent pass. No, I'll use two oracle cards for your oracle advice, not your recent pass. Those are the two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Then we'll go over the recent pass, the present time, the challenge, and the outcome. So, Taurus, for your oracle advice, we have direction. Now, on the flip, flip side of this card, it reads, look for clues. Grace will lead us to the direct events and experiences we need at precisely the right time. And the other card reads, there is a stream of love supporting my dreams. So, basically what Oracle wants you to know is that there's certain clues that are that are um, happening or certain events, certain, um, maybe certain strange things that, that could be happening. And um, those are like clues um, that will lead you to direct experiences that you need at the right time. And um, it's saying that's what that's what direction is all about, uh, leading you to direct events and experiences that you need at the right time. And um, it's paired with this: there is a stream of love supporting your dreams. Um, so it's saying grace is leading you, and it's also leading you with love. So you're surrounded with love and grace. And it's all for the purpose of being guided and directed. And um, there's a stream of love there supporting your dreams also. So those two cards are your oracle advice. Now let's get to what you really came here for. And that's the reading. Now we'll start with the recent past. We have the Five of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. So, the Five of Swords. Uh, it's about having mixed feelings. Okay, you had some mixed feelings in the recent past. Probably about life in general. Maybe a few people in particular. You made sure or you should have not ignored those feelings. But it was important not to feel like you had to speak every word that you were thinking at that time. And I say that because you could have ruined the very things that you wanted the most, such as close, intimate relationships with your friends and lovers. So it would have been important in the recent past to think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you, know they des even if you knew they deserved it. It would have been really wise to pick your battles at that time. Now, when this Five of Swords is talking about love and relationships, unfortunately, um, conflict is near. That's for sure. Yeah. Conflict would have been really near or would have been a lot of conflict in your life if you were in a relationship. Things probably didn't work out as you hoped with a, with a person or... Yeah, with a person or a lover, um, you, needed to th you needed to think calmly and carefully about what your deal breakers were in that relationship and be honest with yourself first, then be honest with your partner and accept the reality. This ace, I'm sorry, this five of swords is paired with the ace of pentacles. Now with the ace of pentacles, you could have found yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels in the recent past. And this would have been very positive new beginnings. Uh, you were probably feeling optimistic, upbeat, and hopeful about your future at that time. Things should have been going really well. It should have been going really well for you. And you could have been also starting something new at that time. And this could have been in the area of work or it could have been personally. But either way, it was a really good thing for you. And when we're talking about love and relationships and you get this Ace of Pentacles, 
if you were in a relationship in the recent past, it probably ro rose to new and better heights. It probably felt like a, a wonderful reconnect. And if you were single, Taurus, and you were looking for a relationship in the recent past, this is a time, well, this would have been a time uh, to get out and meet people because something new probably did or, or it would have started very promising in terms of love. So, but you would have had to be prepared for it and think positive and make sure you were having fun. So that's what we have for the recent past. Five of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. It's basically saying that you had some mixed feelings probably about the person you were um, you were, you were um, dealing with at that time. Or it could have been a situation. Some really uh, mixed feelings and you just kind of wanted to um, probably chop a lot of heads off. Because you see this man running around in the snow and he looks like he's got these two swords in his hand. And he's ready to just mm, go after anyone that just looks at him the wrong way. So that was you, Taurus, in the recent past. That was you. It was about a lot of conflict. Maybe you had some bullies, some trolls. Now maybe somebody stole something from you. Or you also could have been in a, an abusive relationship in the, re, in the recent past with this five of swords but whatever happened um, um, you had the ace of pentacles so there was some new bright new beginnings that came up after you dealt with some of this these mixed feelings that you had or they could have came up while you still had the mixed feelings but either way it go either way it went it made you feel hopeful about the future of these new beginnings. So something was starting uh, in a real positive way for you and it would have probably happened really fast. Yeah, but you had some type of conflict going on at the same time. So that is what you had in the recent past. Now let's move on down and take a look at the present time. There's the Eight of Swords and the Hermit card. So the Eight of Swords is basically about holding back because you fear moving into the future or because you're afraid of getting hurt by a new situation or it could be for no reason at all. Think through what it is you're afraid of because the truth of the situations are probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. And I say this because if you can see the picture, there's a man with all of these swords surrounding him. There's a cow or a bull in the background. And there's really no one else around. There's a fire there, but it's, it's beyond him. So, there's fear there. You're afraid of a connection, possibly. You're afraid to get hurt. Of a, maybe a person or a situation or the um, person that you're dealing with yeah right there it shows you're stuck in your head you're s very much stuck in your head at this time about something and it's paired with the hermit card now the hermit card is a spiritual card in a lot of ways it could have something to do with institutions large organizations everything from a bank to, a, to an entire Christian church now it's something like the strength card. You may be in the frame of mind that you need some time alone. As you can see, he's walking. Looks like he's walking in a, like a garden path or either, either. It looks like he's on a, going up a hill or going down a hill somewhere in the dark because he has a light. So he just wants some time alone. That's how you're going to be feeling or you feel that way. Uh, make sure you don't be afraid to take it. Even if it's just a five-minute walk around the, heart, around the house, a five-minute walk, a stroll around the house, that will clear your head in more ways than you know. 
Now this is a current very much about trying to do the right thing. Just make sure that doing the right thing includes what's right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. So basically for the present time, like I said, you're stuck in your head about something. It could be a person that you're dealing with. It could be for no reason at all. You're afraid of getting hurt by some type of situation. And it's paired with this hermit card. So there's a need to take a walk or be alone. Maybe take long walks or just short walks. But sometime, if you need some time alone to get rid of some type of baggage with this hermit card. Um, you're probably not feeling like you really want to deal with anyone at this time. So this hermit card is, is saying spend some time alone. Make sure you take it to try to clear your mind and get rid of some baggage or either get rid of some negative thoughts of this fear of moving into the future. So that's what we have for the present time. Now let's move on down and take a look at your challenge. We have the Three of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Now the Three of Wands, you probably find that your finances are going to improve in a really good way with this Three of Wands. In fact, you might feel like your proverbial ship has finally come in. Yeah, with the Three of Wands, that's what it's like. You could be feeling very strong, very strong, and with a very good reason at this time. You'll probably be experiencing some important success after you've been through some type of difficulty. Because the Three of Wands, it could refer, it could, uh, refer to work in a very positive way, extremely positive way. Even if you don't work outside the home, it means that your efforts, they're being seen, appreciated, and well respected. Now this Three of Wands is paired with the Six of Pentacles. It's a sign for the turn of, turn of the better, uh, especially with money, because the Pentacles is coins, cash, dividends, uh, income, uh, money. The Pentacles stands for money. It's one of the more positive pinnacle cards. It speaks, it speaks about equality, fairness, and the nature of life. You're probably heading into a very positive cycle, not just a positive day or not just a positive month, but a cycle, a very positive cycle with the Six of Pentacles. And it's also about generosity, meaning that you'll be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So share what you have because there's always someone who needs it. So for your challenge, Taurus, um, your money it just looks great, excellent, superb, because you got two two good money cards here. This th three of wands means that your um, ship has finally arrived. Your ship has finally come in. So something's going to happen that's going to Take your money off to a new level, a brand of, uh, in a wonderful new level. You're probably feeling real abundant. So the Three of Pentacles, like I said, is about success after you've been through some difficulties. So it could be the difficult time that you had with all these swords. You maybe remember we talked about you being stuck in your head? So uh, it looks like you dealt with that. You took some time alone. And if for some reason, um, now you're looking ahead, and there's some expansion and growth, possible teamwork, but that's a good thing, this Three of Wands, and it's even better because it's with the Six of Pentacles. Uh, someone could also be giving you, giving you money. I don't know, Taurus, do you have a sugar daddy? Somebody, somebody wants to give you, give you money, give you something of value. Huh. Yeah, this is really good. A positive cycle, remember that. It's not just a positive day. But this is a positive cycle for, for some good finances. Good finance coming into you. It's a, the Six of Pentacles is about prosperity. So, 
that's a good thing. I like that challenge. All right, so let's move on down and take a look at the outcome. We have the Queen of Swords and the Six of Cups. Now, just to explain this Queen of Swords, it points to a woman in your life. Now, this woman, uh, she's a type that's not to be trifled with. She could have hair on the dark end of the spectrum, dark hair, dark eyes. Keep in mind, if it's not a person, it's this card is pointing to you, Taurus. There may be something or some situation that's going to call for you to be forceful and probably honest and harsh in some situation just to get your needs met. You'll probably feel like you've got to put your foot down at this time. Now, the Queen of Swords, it indicates that your instincts, they're serving you well. You already know what it is that you want and need. Now you just have to go for it. Once again, this Queen is about a very forceful energy. And a lot of people find this Queen really abrasive. And it's paired with the uh, Six of Cups. Now, the Six of Cups is about nostalgia. Oh, Taurus, are you looking back? You might feel like looking back towards the past. Yeah, think, thinking about the way things used to be. It can be, but not always connected with children or childhood. It's going to be important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days. Because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But... Just remember this, if you start thinking that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So, for your outcome, the Queen of Swords and the Six of Cups. This Queen of Swords, like I said, uh, she's one not to be trifled with. I'm picking up she's somebody that you've probably known a long time because you got the Six of Cups. Someone that you're familiar with. Okay? Possibly someone that you had happy memories with. Yeah. This person is very forceful, though. Really forceful. And it looks like you're possibly uh, looking back on the times that you spent with this person. Yeah, so you're being nostalgic and looking back on how things used to be. I don't know, did you have a mother that was probably um, forceful? She had a forceful energy. Um, someone you knew from the past. You're looking back. Or maybe there was a lot of um, maybe there was a lot of uh, situations like this in the past. A lot of maybe harsh people in your past, Taurus. So you, for some reason, you're going back. You're going back to the past and you're thinking a lot about, mm, maybe this was an old romance. It was a situation that was really forceful and and harsh and um, um, maybe it was a situation or a person where you always had to set boundaries with this person. It could also be a mother a mother or a mother like figure who always wanted to who always wanted to interfere in your relationships. Yeah. So, um, but anyway, it's someone from the past, and they were really just probably overstep, overstepping their bounds all the, all the time, with you overstepping your bounds. Some type of forceful energy. Right? Yeah, so that's what you had. And so, uh, you're probably trying to refocus your thoughts, but for some reason this person keeps keeps coming back. You keep looking back. You keep looking back on this Queen of Swords. 
So, Taurus, that's what I have for you today. This was a general reading. My next reading for you, will, it will be a love reading. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I'll put a link below of the extended and we'll go over a lot more. I just want to say thank you so very much for watching. Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when I post my next reading. I'm hoping that you enjoy 2020. I hope, I hope you're enjoying 2020. I'm sorry, I'm getting sleepy. I hope you're enjoying 2020. I hope that February is a beautiful month for you. And I also just want to say I thank you so very much for watching. And I look forward to reading for you at the next reading, which is a love reading. Thank you and have a good day.